It's um, first day of summer, June 21st, and look, it's still raining here in New York, and uh, yeah, it sucks. Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this video, it's vlog number five. Damn, five already, pretty cool. Um, Again, people are really enjoying this, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep it up, guys. If there's any topics you want me to talk about, please throw them at me. Um, and, of course, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You get emails when uh, I put up a new video, and uh, that helps the channel out. And I know for the small uh, donation, I got a PayPal link in the description below for the price of a cup of coffee. You can throw us a couple bucks, a couple cents, whatever it might be keeps this channel alive, keeps the content going, and keeps the vintage scene of Volkswagens breathing on and uh, living life on our roads today. So what are we talking about? Yeah, first day of summer, June 21st, 2019, and it's still freaking raining. We had the whole week, this whole week was overcast and gray cloud. It just, oh, it's been miserable. So I don't know where you guys are across this other part of the country. I think most of the northern uh, parts of the country are getting a lot of crappy weather. Um, just stinks, you know, because in this region, you know, it's, you know, we don't get a very long, you know, nice weather. I mean, the, the summers could be rainy still and, you know, and I think for the most part, it's always been like this. I'm just paying attention more now because I'm, I'm, a, I'm an adult and I'm a little more wiser. So, so we, you know, we watch uh, the weather and such and you just really start to pay attention to things when you're a kid you're, you're doing other things to keep you occupied so but anyway so what are we talking about um this week I think we finally finished Bill's 66 sunroof bug uh, that car is awesome man I'm, I'm like jealous I don't own it <laughs> uh, that car that gunmetal on it is really sick um, and that gunmetal uh, paint is actually, um, it's a mini BMW color. So if anybody wanted to use uh, that color on their car, um, a B, uh, B24, I believe, is the paint code, or B42. Um, I don't remember, but try one of those, and it's a mini BMW color. I think from like, I don't know, 10 years ago, 2009, 2008, something like that really nice color gunmetal metallic um, you know there was a similar color in the 50s for convertibles called uh, silver granite um, so you know if anybody ever did ask and say hey you know what color is that you could kind of say that's silver granite to, to some degree so uh, I don't think anyone's gonna press you on that but I think our signature interior kit with that car with the burgundy and uh, the tweed of course and the tweed and the headliner just looks so nice and the motor, we found an F case for that car. And I like to kind of keep period. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not the original motor, <clears throat> but it, uh, it, we did find an F case to put in. And why an F case? Well, if you don't know, 66 was the one year in America to have an F case. And that's a 1300 motor. Um, so uh, we found that. And we. what's nice about a 1300 is that you can... You know the upgrades are beautiful. I mean, you could upgrade to a, a 1600. You know, you buy new pistons and cylinders. You upgrade to a, a 1600 motor. Uh, but what, what we did is we went big bore. So we went 1641. And uh, so when you do that, though, you do have for a 1300, you do have to get uh, you know 1600 heads. You can't use the 1300 heads unless you want to do some machining. But um, I think you just go with a 1600 head and. Uh, car runs and pulls like a mother I mean the thing it just moves so nice and again that's where the pleasure comes out in driving a Beetle um, you know I love my early cars the 36 horse 25 horse <laughs> but you know sometimes you know we go on some uh, you know road trips to shows which by the way having harder than any shows this year because why the, the, the rain it's just been awful but um, when you do go to a show, and sometimes the shows are maybe an hour or two away, when you're with that 36 horse, 25 horse, especially with my wife in the passenger seat, it could get a little scary, uh, a little hairy on the road because you're just not 
keeping up that great with traffic. Um, and the motors, you know, it's pretty loud, but um, the later, the 1641, like the same one that I, I rebuilt for my 70 convertible, uh, just such a pleasure to drive. You don't really need more than that. I, I don't, you know, it just, it rides really nice. So, uh, Bill, you're, you are just about done. So be prepared next week. I'm going to call you and tell you to come get your bug. I'm going to drive it a few more times this weekend because finally I think the sun is coming out this weekend. So I'm going to put some more miles on it. Uh, we did have to, again, the break-in check. We had to check more things. And as part of the delay, we had to go through a few more things on the motor that came up as we were breaking it in. So, but that's all good. Uh, that's why we want it to happen with us and not with the customer. So, and then it's just a hole and ass to finish off Mike's 56 oval ragtop beetle. And uh, I should be done with that, that car very, very soon. I think I just ordered the last of the parts yesterday with CIP1.com. If you guys aren't familiar, CIP1.com has been running a ton of specials lately. Uh, their prices have been really good. Uh, and um, you know, if you get a chance to go to use them, and part of the reason why I like CIP1 is um, they don't have everything. Like, you know, Wolfsburg West will have certain things that CIP does not. But I think as time goes on, CIP is, is getting almost everything that Wolfsburg is getting. Um, but what's great about CIP is that the prices are good, they're competitive, but they always have free shipping. <clears throat> and I notice a lot of other places do not. And that goes a long way. So you might have a cheaper price somewhere else, but when you add it all up at the end with shipping, kind of hurt you but what's nice with sip one is that I do I do very large bulk orders with them and um, and they're pretty they're, they're pretty quick I mean coming from whether Washington or it's coming from Canada um, really quick uh, you know sometimes even quicker than when I get stuff from you know a local guy in Connecticut <clears throat> so I really like their pricing and anything over a hundred bucks is, is free shipping I'm always ordering stuff over a hundred dollars because I order in bulk um, you know, I just try to make it a point uh, to, to put everything together. But I always want to missing things, you know. But it's okay. <laughs> um, so CIP one, yeah, check them out. They got some good pricing going on, and I think they're running specials. I think all summer and such. So uh, you, get, you get to see what, what they have to offer. Um, on another note, uh, kind of cool day today. Um, I'm meeting with a group of people that sent me. A, a VW from a very high prestigious uh, museum I can't say the museum um, but they sent me a 59 Beetle to restore and I had the car delivered uh, last week or the week before and uh, you know the car when you look at the car from 10 20 feet it looks fine uh, but when you get up close and personal uh, it's got like all pimples on it like the, the paint is failing from underneath um, so I uh, They've never driven it. I mean, it, there's no oil in the motor. There's no fluids or anything going through the car. Uh, but they just want, I guess, a cosmetic resto. Um, I can't disclose who, who's uh, you know hiring us. But uh, it's pretty exciting. I'm meeting with the, with some of the people today to discuss the restoration. And it's a '59, and it's that one one year color '59. If you guys ever seen it, Min Mignonette, Mignonette Green. Is that how you pronounce it? If I don't. Not pronouncing it right, I apologize. Uh, it's like really pale green, kind of, kind of similar to what they had in the early '60s called jade green. It's kind of a shade there, or even um, there was another uh, green that we had once before. There's a very light pale green. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool car. I mean, it, it's got that old smell in it, and but I think they said it was it's been in storage in a in a cellar for quite a while. Uh, so, but uh, I really can't put any updates or anything like that on the website or anything. But in this vlog, I could pretty much, I guess, talk about the car. I just can't disclose who's uh, coming. Uh, but it's pretty cool to have a, 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 a you know a national or a worldwide known museum uh, to send me a car to, to redo. I uh, thought thought that was pretty cool. Um, so that's nice. Um, and uh, one of the things I wanted to bring up from last week. Um, that I spoke about people like that I you know was getting a little more on a personal level they liked all that stuff and one of the things I forgot to mention was one of the things uh, like I guess I don't know if you call it a hobby uh, but it's kind of a lifestyle that I've adapted along with the paleo and the keto and all that stuff is minimalism 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard of minimalism. It's pretty popular these days, and uh, I got turned on to it by uh, these two guys that run a channel on YouTube. They have a website called The Minimalists, and a lot of people are doing things minimally now. You just punch in a search on YouTube, and there's a lot of people doing it. Um, you know, I grew up in a family of five, so my parents, uh, you know, I don't know what it is with that earlier generation. They saved everything, especially my, you know, my mom's side, my grandparents from Brooklyn on, on my mom's side. I mean, my, I would go down to their little apartment in Brooklyn and then they would come back, you know, I would see, why am I seeing 15 rolls of toilet paper or 20 rolls of tin foil? They would just stock up every, all the time. And I'm like, what? why are you doing this? Um, it just, I don't know. Oh, it's on sale. I'm like, so it's on sale. It's always, it's stuff's always on sale, you know, but it, it, whatever. So what I'm trying to get to is I've adapted my wife and I, you know, I'm so happy that she's adopted uh, a lot of that as well. Um, maybe not as much as me, uh, but, um, you know, she comes from a humble background, didn't come from very much. So, um, you know, little things in life make us happy. We don't need a lot of stuff. And I'm telling you, once I cleared out stuff from my life, uh, clutter, clothes, things like that, it's just a huge weight off my shoulders. So I've now adopted uh, that mentality to uh, my business. Um, in the in the beginning with my business, I used to want to stock up on used parts, NOS parts, things like that. And I still get calls from people across the country that have these old VW shops, like say in Nebraska or Oklahoma or something or Kansas. And they're old like gas stations, the old VW repair shops and I mean, they got acres and acres of cars, right? I mean, you guys have seen this, the junkyards of cars. And they call me up, they want me to buy everything. <laughs> First of all, you know, number one, I don't even, I don't, be honest, I don't have the money to buy everything. And I don't want everything. And then I can't store everything. Uh, so I used to store stuff. I used to buy parts, I used to go to shows and go to the swap meets and pick up things. And I see stuff for good price. And I say, oh, that's a great price. I gotta, I gotta grab it just in case. You know, you never know, right? And this was before I really started using the internet to its full potential. So what did I do? I bought a storage facility and I had to store this stuff. Now I'm spending money on storage and oh, that was such a waste. You know, all the money that you, you spent on that. So what I'm trying to get is, you know, even with uh, business guys, if you're, if you're looking to start your own business, thank God for the internet. And I say this even for the Volkswagen uh, business that I have. The internet is my online storage facility. Even if I paid retail for the part or the used part that I need to find or the so-called rare part, it, I'm still ahead of the game. It's still cheaper than storing it. And not for nothing, storage, if you ever see this show, I think there's a show on uh, the Velocity Channel called, um, there's these guys that revitalize uh, shops. Uh, God, I, I'm sorry, it's the morning. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to remember some of these. Um, it's like a storage renovation. It's like a, a shop renovation uh, a story or, or a show that's on TV. And they come in and they renovate and declutter and literally minimize you with all your clutter and get rid of it. They start just chucking everything. Because they have a point, when you have stuff, stuff takes up space, that space is money. You know, so when you have a, a, a shop, and I've seen it all over the place, you know, I've gone to shops where you walk in the doorway and there's a wall of parts. And, I, and somewhere behind this massive amount of mounds of parts is this guy's lift in his shop. And it's dark, it's dingy, it's smelly, it's, it's not clean. I mean, it, presentation is everything to a customer. So when you have a business, you know, I'm not saying that you gotta have a Jay Leno shop. I wish I had a Jay Leno style looking shop with the you know beautiful floors and things, but you know people have a peace of mind when they come to my shop and they see how clean it is. Uh, just because I'm a clutter nut, when I see clutter, my head gets crazy. So um, yeah, one of the things I think that will really benefit you, especially in today's day, maybe before the internet, it was prime to, to store this stuff, and, but still, I mean. I still see people that are hoarding stuff and they don't want to let things go. You ever watch American Pickers? 
and they go to these places and they, they just got crap everywhere and they, they try to negotiate with the guy and the guy is saying, you know, he just doesn't want to sell it. But so what are you doing with it? You know, like let, let a restorer, or let somebody who can breathe life into it, bring it back to life. I mean, if you're sitting on it thinking that it's going to be an Armageddon or something and you're going to be a lottery ticket, I think you're dreaming. You know, so especially with the internet now, and there's so much competition, and more and more people are putting up NOS parts. Why? You know, what are you doing? So, you know, let's let the let's let the restore. Let's let these cars come get back to life and, you know, get back on the road. So, and that's that's it. You know, a minimalist lifestyle. I've adopted that. You know, look, I don't have anything fancy at home. I, you know, I live in a one bedroom with my wife here in New York, and, uh, you know, we like to live small. And what does that do? It frees up our time to spend more time with friends and family, to spend more time, you know, traveling and seeing other sites and, you know, taking time off. Um, Because when you have more stuff, stuff is more money. Um, And it just kind of clutters the mind. It kind of stresses you out and gives you brain fog, I think. When you have a, you know, a clean slate and you have a clean shop or a clean home, I really think that uh, it, it benefits you in the end. So... All right, vlog number five in the books. And uh, first day of summer, happy summer to everybody. And I hope we have a good one here. And um, that's it, guys. Uh, Chris from ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care. Um.